everyone. Welcome back to my 1086 series. Um, I'm just going to do a quick little video here on the lighting on this tractor uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what it's got and what I'm going to do different. So uh, it, didn't, it didn't have the lights that are on the panel on the front here uh, when we got it. Judging by the way the wiring has been repaired going up to the top of the cab, I'm assuming those lights were there at one point, um, but uh, they, they are no longer there. Uh, so I don't think for now I'm going to do anything with those. The two headlights on the front and the two lights on the back fender here come on with the OEM switch. These lights also have a red bulb inside of them that come on when you've got your road lights on. So it's like a tail light, essentially. The flashers all work through the switch. Basically everything that's on the tractor that's supposed to be on the tractor works through the OEM switch. So they also added work lights on each fender and then on the front of the cab as well. Those right now are operating on two separate toggle switches, uh, one for the front and one for the rear. And uh, the wiring for the rear ones is uh, less than satisfactory. Uh, so I am going to wire the rear lights to the same switch as the front ones. I thought about running them all to the OEM switch, but I just don't want to put too much through that switch. And so I'm going to leave them on the toggle switch. It is keyed power, so when you shut the tractor off, the lights would go off if you happen to forget the switch on. Um, but I think that's the route we're going to go. Uh, while I'm talking about the lights, uh, I did have the uh, gauge clusters and stuff out when I was working on the charging system. Uh, the two top lights work. Uh, the lights that light up the tack work. Uh, the bulbs inside of this gauge panel do not. Uh, so I got to try and figure out, that's something I'll have to consult a, a wiring schematic for. Um, but those, the lights in here do not work. The dimmer switch or the panel switch here does not work. And so I am going to replace that switch here. Uh, I did, I was able to send power through, uh, basically bypass that switch. And uh, all those lights did come on. The blinkers work like they're supposed to. Uh, so we're just going to make a few little changes. Uh, and then that'll make the lighting side of things a lot nicer. So uh, I'll kind of give you guys a rundown when I'm all done and show it to you with all the lights on with the, the lights in the shop off just so you can kind of see where it's all lit up. But uh, I'm going get, to get to get in here and we'll get those changes made. All right, guys. So I told you I was going to do a video uh, with the lights off. Uh, since there's, it's daylight outside, it's not as dark as I was hoping it would be in here. But just wanted to show you that I got all the panel lights working. Basically, I bypassed the dimmer switch there and I just hooked them up so that anytime the headlights are on, uh, those panel lights are going to be on as well. But you can see the tack is lit up and the gauge cluster is lit up. Uh, and then right now we're basically in uh, road mode. So this would be like if you were going down the road. Uh, we got all the flashers working. The tail lights are working, which is kind of a neat feature on these tractors. And then the... OEM headlights are working for this application as well as the flashers on the front. So that's what it would be like if you're going down the road. And then if you were in uh, field mode, you turn that one more notch and that's going to leave the front headlights on. Uh, and it's also going to turn these field lights on on the back here. And it's going to turn the flashers off. And then in addition to that, uh, we've got our uh, what I'm going to call additional work lights. Uh, those are the non-original ones. So the ones up on the top of the fenders on the back here and the ones up on the top of the cab on the front. So everything is working. Uh, everything is working the way it's supposed to be. Uh, I'm very happy with that and uh, very happy that the flashers and all the panel lights and all that kind of stuff work. Uh, so we're going to call that a wrap on the light side of things. Uh, the only one that I guess doesn't probably work is the dome light. I guess I haven't tried it yet, uh, but I'm not overly interested in making that one work anyways because uh, that just sounds like a fire hazard. So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like, share, subscribe, and check back for more.